Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today I will explain how to use predictive model markup language, PMML, in linear regression in NIME. So for this, we will have to understand regression analysis first. In case of regression analysis, we are having one dependent variable and many independent variables. It is necessary that a dependent and independent variable both should be on continuous scale. The example of the continuous scale is blood pressure, weight and height. The basic assumption is that the relationship between the dependent and independent variables should be linear. In a very simple way, we want to explain the example of blood pressure and weight. We want to see that with the increase in weight, does, our, does the blood pressure increases of the patient, of, patient or not? What is a PM, PML? So PMML provides a way for analytic applications to describe and exchange predictive models very easily. In case of NIME Analytics platform, it is very simple to understand. Let's see how we can do it. So for this, we will go in NIME Analytics platform. I will activate input and output from here. I will activate Excel Reader. I will double click on it. Browse. I have activated the Excel Reader as my data set is in Excel format. MG cast, apply, click OK, and right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file data. The variables which are there in this data set are mileage of the vehicle, number of cylinders, displacement of the vehicle, horsepower of the vehicle, displacement rate, weight of the vehicle, QSEC, vertical and straight engine, one and zero, automatic or manual transmission, number of gears, number of carburetors. Now we want to find out what are the variables which are influencing the mileage of the vehicle. So for this, I will activate regression learner. Right click on it, configure. So I am making the mileage of the vehicle as my target variable, MPG. And I'll remove all other variables from here and I'll only include horsepower and weight of the vehicle. Click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the coefficient and statistics. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this lecture series. In the previous video, I had explained that if the p value is less than 0 0.05, we can say that this variables, this variables are significantly contributing to the mileage of the vehicle. The model has been made. Now we want to save this model. So for this, we will activate the PMML writer. Again, I'll right click on it, configure, and I will browse the location where I want to save my, save my uh, PMML file. So I'll give the name as regression. One, save, click OK, right click on it, execute. Now the model has been saved. Now I want to use this model for another data set. So let's say I open a new uh, workflow and this time I will activate PMML reader. So this is being activated, done. I will again activate the Excel reader. I'll browse the file. So we are having two data sets, one empty cars one and empty cars test. Empty cars one uh, is a data set on which the regression learner model was created. This is the complete new observations which we are giving to our model. So click open, click OK. Now, again, you go back here and activate PMML predictor. Activate it. So this PMML predictor will get the observations from here. It 
is necessary that you execute this PA Excel reader. Then only we will be able to extract the information from here. So PMML predictor is getting the observations, the data set from here, but where it will learn from. So it will learn from here, PMML reader, right? But it is necessary that whatever we had saved in writer, it should be connected here. So right click on it and configure. Now browse. So I had saved my model in D drive as a regression one, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, uh, configure this also, change the name of the prediction column, click OK, right click on it and execute. Now what you will get is a predicted data. So you can see here the mileage and the predicted data. So this is a way you can use PMML in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on NIME.